Steve is uh, out of power, so we're, we're gonna, we gotta fix that. All right, so we're just gonna move him a little closer to home. Uh-oh. 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 This is not supposed to happen. Three of two tiles. Okay, new plan. Okay, so we're gonna move him one tile so we have power. <laughs> uh, and I guess we're gonna build a rocket platform on Smirlos. That was the backup plan should something go wrong, right? So uh, we have a route to the surface. We just need to, you know, do things. Okay, so we have kind of um, an open area here. Jake is here. Hello, hello. Back from working, I guess. We, we just need an area here. Hopefully we won't have any uh, meteor showers. While we build this. Uh, let's see, let's take that out. We also need a ladder to get down on the other side. You're always here, Illuminati. All right. I think I've said something like that once or twice myself. <laughs> As I lurk in like six different streams. <laughs> uh, so do we have steel? We have 120 kilograms of steel. Is that enough to make uh, a rocket platform? Uh, well, we don't we don't need steel. We just need refined metal, right? 800 kilograms of refined metal. Um, there is is there? I mean, rust is a consumable ore. It's not refined. There's cobalt ore, uranium ore. I don't think we have, or wait, was there um, aluminum? I don't know if we'd want to use that even if there, there's aluminum ore. Okay, I don't think we have any, um, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ship some metal here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll have to do. We'll ship metal here so we can get Steve back. Although the problem is, I guess we're gonna have to ship petroleum too for the rocket. You're super tired tonight, so now it's your turn to move <laughs> to off to my computer. Uh, turn to move off, off of your computer into your bed. Yep. Maybe you are tired. <laughs> anyway. I am going to, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna ship refined metal to Smirlos. We have a thing to do that. Uh, supply teleporter input, right? This is how we're shipping uh, oxygen over to the other planetoid. And we can ship um, something else too. Like what? Well, we can ship iron. We have a lot of iron. So is there a way? Uh, there's a refined metal. Like we can just set this, right? But how do we control how much metal, if we have the dupes manually sweep, how much metal goes there? Right, if I just go here, There we go. There's 14 tons of iron. How do I control how much gets moved? I guess we just, um, let's move some. Will the dupes move 14 tons in one go? I don't know. 
This was something I think I was trying to figure out before because we were sending steel over. And I wanted to send some amount and not all of the steel. So when a dupe gets down here, are they gonna move it all in one, just like, bloop? Or are they gonna pick up a little bit and drop it and pick up a little bit and drop it? Okay, they're gonna pick up and drop. So that's, um, Two, four, six, eight. Okay, that seems like enough. So let's cancel that. And then... It's almost a thousand kilograms. So let's sweep that. That's also to make sure that the transport conveyor loader set allow manual use. Sweep only, high priority. All right, so a dupe should take some amount of that iron and send it into the conveyor loader, hopefully. Uh, the other thing we can do while that's happening, and I'm not pausing because we're waiting for that to happen, is uh, we can send some petroleum there uh, that's kind of convenient because we can do that, like, we have a path to the rocket, which is where the petroleum is. And we're gonna send some petroleum. Maybe we want to use insulated liquid pipes for this too. Uh, let's go... Maybe down and across. What's gonna make sense here? Maybe down the pole? There, like that. So we'll be able to deliver some uh, petroleum over to the other planetoid. What's our research doing? Okay, so we have we're, we're making we're making progress there. I'm excited to see. So I don't know the, the, what kind of materials or how much materials we're gonna need to make the volume. Uh, I've not seen that, so that that will be a new thing, and that's gonna determine how much longer I'm playing this game. <laughs> um, which is exciting in a way, and also. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be different. I'm pretty sure that I, what, I, what I want to try out after this is... Uh, uh, it's Mind Over Magic, right? That's the name of the game? I guess I have to go buy it. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what we're driving towards here. It's just, um, I want to build a monument because that's like a win condition. I think it's like the easier, easiest, should, my understanding in, right? So, like, we've not done any of the other things, like, uh, establish several colonies, open the temporal tear, breach the temporal tear, but we can build the great monument, right? So, I want to do that, and then, um, I imagine we'll probably come back to this game at some point in the future, and do more things. It would, be, it would be kind of a shame otherwise, you know, learn all, all how to do all these things and not come back to it. But uh, let's go check over at Sparrowless. Do we have a... Uh, is this the output or the input? That's the uh, that's the input. So where is the output? It's down here, right? We have iron. We have iron and steel and ammo suits and all sorts of things situated down there. Um, stuff is happening up here. We just need to build the rocket... Um, platform. That seems fine. We should also build bunker doors. Although we don't have steel for that, we need... We need, like, at least a thousand kilograms. Uh, and then how much do we need for the tile? A hundred. So we want, like, twelve to fourteen hundred kilograms of steel here. 
just to uh, protect the rocket. Although, this is too high. I, I mean, it's fine for our rocket. And we what we can do is we can just build the bunker doors up here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, but let's go back to the main colony. And uh, let's make sure that we have some steel queued up to be produced. I see. This is currently disabled by automation. Why? Probably temp. Yeah, the uh, liquid pipe thermo sensor is saying... Green, green signal left below 125F. So the issue is that the water is too hot. <laughs> no, don't do it. Small PRs. The smaller, the better. Yeah, I mean, no, that makes sense. It's 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 extra work, right? To try to like parse things out into smaller bits. I do. I want to see your PRs. Uh, I've been there. I, I mean, I was saying earlier in the stream, right, that I, I had this pull request open for half the life of a company to upgrade us from like Python 2 to 3. <laughs> 60 file changes is nothing. Uh, but there's a reason that it never got merged, right? Sure, I changed every single file in our entire application. <laughs> that might have been why. Um, so this is not going to work. So can we... Um, iron to steel. Yeah. Let's make a lot. So each one is 10. So we want like... Start with 20. Um, can we increase this number so that things happen? <laughs> yeah, disabled by automation. We just... So what happens? Everything explodes because the liquid's too hot? Uh, you need to do better at pushing your coworkers to read something they won't understand, but just say it looks good. Yeah, we want the opposite of that. And again, the thing that I was just describing was um, not my current <laughs> work situation. <laughs> but it, it was definitely something that was uh, I mean, there have been a lot of learning experiences over the years. All right, we, we made steel. Cool, we need a lot more. Can we, let's go ahead and say that we wanna sweep all the steel that we're making. And uh, we wanna sweep it to here, right? Is steel. There it is. All swept steel will be sent to the uh, other planetoid. All right, what do we got? Blueprint, dirt. I'll take the dirt. All right, let's check on Smirlos. All right, we're building the thing. So at least we'll be able to land the rocket. Hmm. 
All right, so uh, I guess let's just land the rocket. What? <laughs> Visual glitch. Uh, all right, so we still have power, right? Because we moved the rocket tile. Look, we have uh, 143. We're, we're almost there. Uh, the other thing we can do before we land the rocket is um, we can run the pipes for the uh, petroleum. Yeah. And then we get the petroleum up to the rocket. And that way we can fuel it and launch it again. And that way we don't have to worry too much about protecting it while it's here. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Now, what kind of materials do we have here? We have... Um, resources... Oh, I can see that from here, right? What am I, what am I thinking? Uh, sedimentary? Lots. Or ignea... Sedimentary is fine. Uh, I feel like I selected the wrong kind of thing. There we go. Uh, insulated liquid pipe, please. Sedimentary. Thermal, thermally reactive is not great. How about igneous? We have lots of that too. That seems good. And we'll just uh, <laughs> send it up this way. And uh, we gotta get it up, up there, yeah? Hmm, maybe through the door and up and around, or over. Yeah, over is fine. All right. Maybe we can get all this set up before uh, the next meteor shower arrives and blows everything up then we can get Steve's rocket landed and fueled and relaunched and deliver everything back to uh, Halcini all right so we have the ball arms here here let's say uh, let's empty water let's also increase the priority of the pipes so maybe like a seven So what we did with our CO2 over here is we just let it fall down into this cold biome. And sure, we let it beat it out, but it's fine. What does the gas overlay look like? Oh, okay. Yeah, just natural gas, right? We have no accumulated CO2 because it all <laughs> it's, it's all liquid, right? Uh, and that's liquefiable liquid. Yeah. There's all of our CO2 that we've been been exhaling this whole time. Is that true? It could be true. There you go, 22 kilograms, 22, 21, 22, yeah. Perfect. Very compact. They are hostile creature, creature, creature the critters apparently. But, uh, seems fine.
could probably uh, build the tile right here. Might be a good thing. Alright, pipes. Pipes coming up. Now the question is, are we going to get this built before the next meteor shower? If only I had a mod <laughs> that was inclined to make a prediction. That might be a thing to do. On the other hand, I don't know if we're going to find that out today. I don't know how long it's going to take. What building is broken? Uh, insulated liquid pot. Okay. So this is this is because I in increased the temperature allowed here. <laughs> Foxy. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if it's something that's going to happen today, though. Is the only reason that maybe it wouldn't make sense to do a prediction. Uh, also, we have no refined carbon. That's a problem. Let's make more refined carbon. Okay. I can make you a mod, though, Foxy. You made me a mod. Is there a quick way to make you a mod? Manage suspicious user. Ban timeout of mod. There we go. <laughs> yeah, slash mod. Maybe. I did it a different, different way. At least I think I did. Yep, there we go. Congrats, you are my first moderator. No, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> a friend of mine had mod. <laughs> You're the far first moderator who uh, knows what being a moderator means. Bits. All right. Foxy Blue just cheered 100 bits. Let's see. I I don't think I want to set a uh, a policy of bits for mod. <laughs> but thank you for the bits. So we have some steel. Uh, I think I can send the steel we have over to the planetoid. It'll be fine. Let's check in on Smirlos. All right, still working on those pipes. So what what I need to see here is all the pipes built, so that we can have petroleum coming up. I'll also build a bridge. Just so we can see the full thing and get the petroleum really close, and then we'll land the rocket and build the rest of the pipe to fuel it, and then uh, we'll be good. I want to minimize the amount of time the rocket spends on the ground, where it might be damaged. There we go. Now, here's a thought. The dupes here. Oh yeah. No, no, no. They, they, they have good morale. Decent, decent morale anyway. Uh, can we? We could give him an improved construction. Two. And then what about pay? If we ever want mechatronics, we 
could do that. Although I think that I don't want to bring the morale need all the way up. We'll give her uh, improved construction as well. Right now they're sleeping. I like how we have a little bit of liquid, liquid nuclear waste just sitting here. I wonder where that came from. Mm -hmm. So the good news is it looks like we have all the data banks we need to be able to do the research. We just need to get Steve back to <laughs> the main planet to be able to use those to do the research. I don't know if we're going to be able to, to do that today. Can we? Yeah, this is the receiving side. This is the right place to be. I'm kind of curiously watching the betas to see how they interact with the dupes. I don't really... It seems fine. I mean, it said there were hostile creatures, critters, but so far so good. Let's check in on Steve. Steve should be fine. He's still up here making data banks. We're up to 159, so we got enough to do our, our research. If we could just get him back, but we can't. So we got some unidentified objects coming in. But yeah, you can see destination-wise. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that, trip distance, two tiles. Okay, off you go. Never mind. Why did it say? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Never mind. To uh, yeah, we only have three hundred twenty kilograms of steel anyway. So we we need a hundred per thing. So we can't even. Let's do this. Let's um. So if this gets blown up, yeah, I'm just gonna deconstruct it for now. And we're gonna cancel the bits that are kind of here on the surface that are at risk. Yeah, we'll deconstruct. Um, just to make sure we, I think if this were just to be destroyed, it would drop the raw materials, but the tiles might be broken too, and it would. Like end up down there in the water and it would be a while before we recover it so uh if we don't need to land the rocket here then we don't need to la <laughs> then we don't need to land the rocket here uh and things will get done much sooner i guess i gotta double check that uh once we can move the one tile with the how much fuel was left it's kind of weird though uh also Ah, oh, skill escaped. We need to make sure to open the uh, bunker doors. Soonish. Hmm, a lot of stuff out here. Given given our um, how things are, as far as I know, anyway, I don't think we will be uh, finding out what these things are. In this game? I could be wrong about that. So what happens if I, um, like I have the rocket set to land here, but I have the bunker doors closed? What's gonna happen? Um, 
Also, I think I want to open some tiles here to have a way to get out this way. Let's look at the star map. How are we doing? Oops, clicked it twice. Is that 0.3 cycles to get to the next tile? Or is it like reading this, it says in flight to Halcini, 0.3 cycles. Or is that, I mean, it's counting down, right? But we've not even moved the tile yet. Or maybe the distance between like the orbital tile and the planet is much less. Who knows? Also, what is this? Seventy seconds. See, this would have invalidated the prediction we went right because we didn't even need a landing pad uh, on Smirlos. So, in thirty seconds, are we going to be in this tile or are we going to be landing? It's really unclear what this means. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this uh, switch though. I probably should have independent switches for uh, the things. <laughs> and there's the rocket. How about that timing? So we're gonna close the pod bay doors, if you will. Steve uh, is recovering breath <laughs> out here in uh, uh, unbreathable gas, apparently. Uh, that seems like a problem. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, you should uh, go attend to things. All right, so now we have many databanks and other things. Um, and for now, I'm not going to even work. Well, let's see. Let's 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 go inside and make sure we. Um, you know what's a shame? There's not a like a forbid option. <laughs> uh, Let's see, what do we need here? Buildings with their access restricted cannot be operated while grounded. Perfect. I think that's what I want. Um, good. And so we have we have water again. We have uh, 164 data banks, which should be enough to uh, do all of our research. And we're, we're getting close on the Applied Sciences research, too. So let's not be paused. <laughs> let's get stuff done here. That's cool. Have I actually seen one of the dupes use this before now? It's kind of awkward how they come up and then come down and then go back like that, but... What's this liquid here? Liquid phosphorus, okay. Um, can they not go into the transit tube and write it down? Don't know. Or maybe sliding down the pole is faster. Yeah, 
So we got coal over here, and we got it swept up and put away. A little bit more automation, a little bit less uh, dupes running around doing stuff. Except for when dupes do it anyway. But maybe they need to be coal for something. Ah, we still have... Um, Okay, well, do we want to tear out the coal power, or coal generators that are over here? Or expand the ones that are over here? Or, or something like that? Maybe, like, make another one of these? Uh, maybe so. Given we, we're still having power issues. That might make sense. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Put some ladders... Across here. Take this out. We got some space here as well. I'm just gonna expose that oxalite, but that is there's never really no reason to do that. Let's replace that with the tile, and so we can like build another one of these or two of these uh, eventually. I guess I could go vertically too, for that matter. good. <laughs> it's a little bright. A little bright in there. Is uh, is there heat? It's a little warm. That might have already been like that. Uh, okay, do we want to... Uh, Oh, meteor showers. Oh, good. It's closed. <laughs> Great. What about on Smerlos? What's the situation? Oh, we've still not deconstructed this. Uh, I think it's going to be de deconstructed anyway. Here in a second. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're going to get it. Alright, let's haul in that uh, iron, huh? You can just turn around, oh, whatever. If it happens, it happens. Cool. Uh, long term, we would probably want to build more protection so we don't have erosion of the planetoid. <laughs> Although we are getting materials as well. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, they prefer the pole over the tube. Anyway. Um... Yeah, a blueprint. Copper ore, yes, please. Free stuff. Alright. Oh. Yeah, we're using the uh I guess this this is one thing that's kind of research related where we're not um in our little lab area. That's adjacent. Uh let's turn the power on over here so I can see how much uh how many, um, yeah, 34 per cycle right now. And 33. Okay. So that's not as good yet as these. It's about a third. Um, I suspect that... Yeah, the population here is still growing. I suspect that we're going to continue to increase the number of uh, shine bugs in here. And there are still eggs hatching. So um, I think this number will, like, the number of rad bolts per cycle will increase. And at least for right now, we're doing okay on powder, maybe? But given this, I don't know that there's much of a point in operating this. Until uh, until we have enough shine bugs in here to produce way more uh, red bolts. And there you go. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, do you have 100 Red Bolts? Uh, we should be... We can audit, we can set this so that it won't. Sends a green signal when Red Bolt storage is full. Uh, okay, so we can we can set this up so we won't send um, bolts if we're full, and we could do that. We just need a not gate to invert the signal because apparently it's green when it's full, and we need a red signal to turn this off. So we just do this and this and this and this, and we'll turn both of those off when the storage is full. Just a little radiation and cold, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Do we, uh, how many good researchers do we have on this planetoid? Uh, skills? So you would like to be a researcher, and you have <laughs> a lot of skill points. Um, we can we can get you up there. There you go. Yeah, I've really been slacking on uh, you know allocating points. But we could have a couple more people that are uh, doing research. things oh this is Steve well okay Steve can also decorate it's fine Camille okay Catalina Devin Frankie doesn't really we can get him part of the way a wild chat hot appears in chat Uh, Red Bolt Decay. All right, because we're currently disabling this, which is fine because this is full anyway. It's it's not actually automated yet. It's because we've connected the automation wire. Now it's, I think, actually working. So this is green because it's full, so that becomes red, which turns these two off. There we go. Now we are... Uh, Using those red bolts. And that looks like this. Now we need uh, 45 more data analysis research, and that's happening as well now that we have more people with research skills. I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry to at least see what it's going to take to make the monument pieces, because I, I just don't know. And we got about 13 minutes until I want to wrap the stream up, so. Mm. Do we, uh, we can start thinking about who we might want to raid. Anyone I know streaming? On a Friday night? Hmm. We'll think about that. There is also a channel point reward. Uh, redemption, whatever you call it. To direct the raid, guide the raid. Hmm. Something popped up on my screen on over over there. But I didn't I didn't catch it. Ah, uh, probably wasn't important. If it was important, it would show up on my phone. Mm -hmm. I 
or it would show up on my uh, my Discord over there because I do keep the community, the the Sabin server Discord, uh, open uh, for whatever channel pertains to the things that I'm doing on stream. Uh, just in case anyone has things they put there. Golden oh, broken. Oh, ladders. Yeah. Okay. We got some damage. And it looks like we maybe didn't sweep that, but that's fine. We'll rebuild. There we go. Alright, now we're awaiting rad bolts. And this is enabled, so we're collecting rad bolts. It's all good. Uh, and we're, we're done with orbital data collection data analysis stuff. So now we just need applied sciences. That that was in fact the uh, the slow part. Um, I guess given that, maybe I'll just turn this on anyway. We're okay. Thirty four, thirty five a cycle. You gonna play some games with friends? Yeah. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Jake. Uh, I look forward to seeing your your next stream. Are you uh, you still have some stuff to do in outer outer, outer wilds, right? <laughs> I love the, uh, the shrimp. Uh, things emotes. You're on tomorrow night. Awesome. I'll uh, I'll be by. I may be <laughs> in multiple streams, but I'll be by. Lots of dupes with uh, balloons. Very happy dupes. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, are we are we sciencing? We have power problems, is what we have. It's not great. We are accumulating red bolts here. Uh, let's see if we can um, expand out our power production. A concern I have is how much coal do we have? No, we have 25 tons. This will be some good backup power. Auto save, please. That there. Get some wire going up as well. Up to there. Um, we'll get. I think there's automation wire here. Get that running across there. There we go. We'll build some more tile up here. And some more ladder to get up there. And... Yeah, that seems... F well, no. Okay. One more, so we can build another storage bin for some more coal there. That looks good. Now I'll have three more coal generators here to produce extra power. As, as a stop cap. We could potentially use petroleum to make power, I think. I, I don't know where we'd put that exactly. I think that would be uh, a question because of the gases that are emitted. I think we couldn't just drop it, in, drop it into the... Um, uh, the industrial bricks that we have. We have to look at doing something else. So I'm just trying to get us past. <laughs> All right, we are 60 something research points away. Okay, and there are settings on these, the, the same settings. So those are the default settings, the fuel request threshold. So we're just waiting for coal to be delivered. Good, good. 
remove the, all that's reachable, which is good. Hmm. I guess the issue... Yeah, we're going to have to have dupes come and deliver coal. Anything else going on? So we have this going. We are accumulating rad bolts here. And that is going to drop into the material study terminal. Eventually. Um, I guess we don't need these here anymore. Get rid of those. that also can tell it to construct the wire. No, the wire is in the floor. Okay, good. Two of these together produce 100. Okay, good. Makes sense. All right. 60 to go. Now, how many points of research do we get for the 100 radicals? 10 units per research points. We get 100, so we get 10 research points when we get a rad bolt. Uh, when we get, you know, the 100 thingies. <laughs> we get 10. So it's going to be. Maybe a couple seconds. Unfortunately, there's not a faster option. This is as fast as it goes. Damage overheated. Oh, I don't care about the hot tub. Uh, why is the hot tub overheating now? What are we doing? It, it's the environment, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of warm over here. Looks like we are at um, 99F. Why would that be too hot for a hot tub? I don't know. Extra steamy tub, yeah. Although there's no no water in it, it's just empty. It's uh, this was like a, a structure that was um, uh, just in the map. Oh, let's uh, let's not repair it. <laughs> uh, disable building. Uh, disable auto repair. There we go. So like we dug around and we discovered, we discovered the the ancient hot tub, <laughs> but we're not using it. It's not set up to be used. We could, but it's kind of outside of the base, and the, the dupes are happy as it is. They don't need anything else. Okay. So we should have all the power we need. Just the question of producing the rad bolts. So we're producing like almost 70 per cycle. So uh, yeah, I think we're on track in just a couple of cycles to uh, have all the research we need. There. Oh no. Okay, it needs. Oh, okay, no. Uh, Catalina is over here. How did Catalina get soggy feet? There must be some water somewhere that they're walking through. I don't like that. Oh well. So we are uh, this much? 75? 76? Away? 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna snooze it. We'll go on a little longer. We'll see. We'll see if we can get <laughs> everything. Um, but we'll see how far we can get anyway. Thank you for calling that up, though. The problem is, is that it's like all the way over there. To notice it. Although, um, I got a new thing today. It's uh, it's it's still in a box behind the green screen, but uh, it's a it's a quad monitor mount, so I can have I only have three monitors right now. I might have to buy a fourth. So I have monitor, 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 monitor. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I uh, I see that when I'm watching your stream because you made me mod. Yeah, it'll be fancy. It means I won't have to go like this to see the things in Twitch. I did uh, realize a couple weeks ago that what I needed to do was have the chat embedded in OBS right here because that's right where the camera is. Hello. <laughs> so um, that way when I'm looking at chat, I'm, I'm mostly looking at towards the camera too. Because before I would reach out over there. And that's not not as good. Alright. Uh tubes are hanging out. Does the game pause? Yeah, the game pauses when we're doing this. Ooh, wart seeds are really good. We'll take one of those. It's a limited resource in the world. And they produce radiation. And they eat heat. And uh yeah. It's good stuff. Uh right, so. I mean, when we're done, we're gonna see a thing announced, but we're making progress here. Oh, hey, uh, OG uh, Heisenhoff. I think this is the first time I've actually said your name, but seen it a lot. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Yeah, this is auction not included. Ah, uh, you know, it's Friday night. Um. Maybe, you know, honestly, maybe we'll just go a little longer. Maybe we'll go another hour. If so, I do need to take a break. Maybe we'll go another hour so we can see what the deal with the monument and stuff is. Because it's, I mean, we're really close to finishing the research. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to unlock this, like, in-level... Yeah, you're off tomorrow. Me too, me too. Yeah, cool. Um, what are you going to stream? So, uh, it, unfortunately, the game's paused when I'm doing that, but yeah. So, the, uh, it's like a, one of the in-game, like, if you look at the, the thing that you start the game with, the, uh, the printing pod, one of the things it tells you is that, like, these are basically different win conditions for the game. That's how I'm saying it, anyway. Uh, and so, we, we have um, three of the four for Home Sweet Home. So, basically, like, okay, these people live here now. The dupes, this is their home. Uh, I think the other one is like to escape, and the other one is like some kind of like, I don't, I don't even know what cosmic archaeology is all about, but uh, building the Great Monument is what I'm trying to do. And I have no idea what it's going to take to do. It's locked behind a piece of research that we're trying to do right now. Um, probably, probably do some Resident Evil for a little bit, or Metal Gear Solid. It depends. I was watching, um, what was I watching the other day? Something something potato. Oh, hey, Foxy giving a sub. Foxy Blue gifted a tier one subscription to Oggies and off underscore 88. Thanks for the gift sub. Um, what was I watching the other day? Who was doing a blind playthrough of uh, Resident Evil 2. Unfortunately, I follow so many people now that the list is ridiculous. Um, something, something, potato. I don't even see it on the list. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I was watching some Resident Evil 2 the other day. Uh, I was looking fun. But uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to take 
a break for here a couple minutes so that I can uh, get some more water and stretch my legs because uh, you gotta take care of yourself. And uh, we'll come back and we'll play some more Oni and we'll see if we can find out what the deal is with uh, the monument. 